Welcome back one and all to another episode of the Obsidian Gate server. Here we are back at the base. I've done a little bit more work. As you know, last time I left off with uh, finishing up the secret staircase over there. That worked well. And let me show you what I, I've done a little bit around here so far. I made some more planning. So hold on, let me show you what I've done. Nothing too big. So far, I've just, uh, I don't know if I finished up these stairs. Got these stairs in place? Yeah, I did. But I put a place down here, an area down here, a little platform. And according to some of, I think it was Ryden, uh, Ryden or Ryan, he uh, suggested that we put in a little area down here with sandstone. Uh, I was thinking along the same lines. I made a little bit of a design here. I've still got some more plans. What I'm going to do is I think I'm going to put on either side here. I'm going to put some sort of like a garden, like some sort of uh, some with some grass and maybe some flowers going or something. So it's on either side. Hang some vines from here and maybe have a waterfall come down. I'll have to work on that. Then I still got to work on the inside here. I'm going to take you in this way. I have plans for the inside here. As you can see, I've got this all dug out here. That's the ceiling up there. I don't like the lighting, but that's the way the, the slabs worked out. I might put another layer of slabs or something. And down here, as you can see, it's going to be a really tall area. And I have some stair, uh, staircase coming down here. And this is going to continue to expand out. I've got all the water out of here, except for that little bit just in case I fell. So we're going to clear this stuff out and see... Uh, how we can make this look good down here also. So lots and lots of plans, big plans. And oh, I got to show you something too. Show you something here. Uh, as you know, we have been playing this on UHC. Well, we've made a slight change now. If you look, there it goes. Hearts are regenerating. And the reason for that is we've decided that we're to the point where we can make as many health potions as we want. And so thus UHC, the non-regeneration, has just made it more of a hassle than um, a, hin a hassle than a hindrance. It's not it's no longer part of the competition. It's no, no longer part of making it a little bit harder. It's just more of a hassle now. So we've moved it to just hard. So the mobs still hit as hard as they did on the UHC. So they can still hurt you pretty badly, but we can now regenerate. So that'll save us some time for making health potions and doing all the other stuff. So we've decided to move that over just to hard for now. And keep going with this to see if we can actually make some bigger builds because that was one of the things hindering. Because if you didn't get your hearts back, uh, there's more chances of things happening and losing stuff. So we decided to change this over so we could actually make some more interesting builds for you guys. So, all right, as you can see, we've got my uh, phoenix, the bird here, got this. And I wanted to start also, I've cleared out the little lean-to that little creeper made for me. Now, we really don't need it there, but I want to start actually start building something here. I want to build a gateway right here. Do a gateway right here. So when you walk through to get to here, and maybe some stuff on the inside here. And there's going to be a wall. See, there's a gateway here. It's going to be a wall going to there, and a wall going all the way around here. So that's another thing I've been working on. And thank you to Danny. Danny and I, seeing as people are starting to get into more of the builds, they're starting to use more of the wood that I have in the the um, lumber the lumber yard. So uh, actually, Danny's been helping me because you know, I've been giving him some wood. He's been getting me a lot of sandstone. So I've got all the sandstone. I got a bunch of just regular stone to make the stone bricks. I grabbed some leaves. So we're good to go to doing some building here. But before I do that, there's something I want to go change here back at spawn. Now I'm going to go sleep first. I'm the only one on right now. Mm 
There we go. All right. All right, so I went to sleep. So we could go back here and work on something in spawn. I want to work on the, the Iron Golem farm because, as I talked before, the, um, what is it, the, all the red, red poppies, is it? Uh, the red, the red flowers, they're in there, keep getting filled up too quickly because nobody's really using them. So I need to get over there. We're going to do work out something, rig something up so that when it starts to overflow, it will just dispense the extra red flowers. All right. So we're going to work on that next. All right. Let me get that all set up over here with the farm. And once I get that ready to go, I'll bring you guys back here. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back, and actually it has been a couple days since I left you guys, and it's dark out, so i got to be a little careful. Um, let's see, it's just me on here now. There is, uh, Grumpy Cat is on here, and if you look, I do have a few more deaths, because uh, we have a new member. Uh, Star, you'll see him as Star Killer on here. His name is also Scotty Gaming. I'm going to have to add him to the notes. You guys are going to have to go over and check his out. But Scotty came on here. We're giving him a little bit of a tour, and then apparently he was schooling me on PvP. He was showing me how to do PvP, and uh, as you can tell, I wasn't doing too well. Uh, but that is not surprising for me. So I'm going to go back to something I can do fairly well at. Uh, I am going to go back here. I'm working on the redstone here to do. I cleared out this area to do for getting rid of some of it when this thing gets too full. Um, I've got this set up right now. I'm actually going to get rid of this chest. Um, what's going to happen is my plan is when this gets too full or to a certain fill level, it's going to start spitting out the poppies down here. So we don't get overflowed because if this overflows and goes back up through here, it can become somewhat of a mess. So we're going to try and avoid that. So I'm going to work on something here. Uh, this is just off the top of my head, throwing something together. So I'm sure there's better ways of doing this. If you come up with any, please let me know. But um, what we're going to do is we got in order to be able to tell what's in the chest, we got to use a comparator in the right spot. I'll get in there. I'll get in there at some point. There we go. Yeah, so it tells me there's a certain amount in there. And what happens is the distance that the charge goes tells you how, how much, much is in the, in the chest. All right, so I'm going to put Jinx. this. Yes, thank you. I'm going to put this right here. Oh, so. We need to, little creepers running around playing on his own little game here. So uh, we're going to hear comments from him occasionally. Maybe. And Maybe. we're going to now get back to the redstone I was trying to explain before being interrupted. All right, so this goes, the charge goes for as long, depending on how much is in the chest. So the longer that it is, the more they'll go in the chest before it activates. Now we need to have some sort of a clock here. I'm going to take this out here. I need to do something right here, I think it is. We'll do it right here. We need to reverse this because we want this to be stopped. I'll show you how this works here. Here we go. Okay. We need a clock in order to do the dispensing here. So this is what we're going to do. This is a clock I've used many times before. Uh, it's one I remember offhand, so uh, I'm just going to do this one. There's other clocks out there. I put a repeater down here, two ticks, put a block over the top of it, another block like that. Redstone torch there, and that. And as you can see, we now have 
the clock going. Just turns on and off. All right. And what that will do is once I hook it up to here, it'll start kicking out flowers into here. Until I put this here. Now what's going to happen is that once this gets full enough, that'll turn this off, which will turn the clock on, which will allow it to start spitting stuff out. So let me get all this stuff out of here. There we go. All right, let's put some Put some extra flowers up here, see if this works. That goes there. These are all full. What happens if I take some out of here? Now oh, they start to fill back up again. No big deal. Okay. We put that stuff back in there. And okay. So that's what's going to happen there. So it's got plenty of flowers running around in here. We'll have to figure out where this is going to start here before it starts kicking stuff out. Let's toss a few more things up here. I'll put that in there. Nope. There. If you look. It's getting further here. So let's see if we can get this. Well, got a little further. Just needs a little bit more. Come on, it's almost got it. I'm gonna throw everything I got in here. Or you don't want. Ah. Come on, there it goes. There it goes. So if it gets plenty of stuff in here, it'll start kicking things out. Right there, see? All right. All right, so I know it's working. I know it's working. We'll get over half a chest, and then it'll start kicking out poppies. And the poppies will go down here and get popped out here and we'll leave no we'll get left down here and despawn oh man yeah all right there we go people we've got it now so that we won't be overflowed with poppies I'm gonna fill this in now and we will move on and find something else to be doing Oh, it's going to be a fun day. All right, everybody, we'll be back in a little while. I'm going to go find something else to work on here. I think I'm going to go back over to my base and start doing something. But we'll be over there in just a minute. All right, back soon. Okay, everyone, we are back here at another recent build by the ever-building uh, construction master himself, Tonic. Uh, he has actually constructed himself the Tonic Studios Airport. And here we are. This is this is where we're at. We're at the entrance way here. Let's go take a walk through and I'll show you what he's done. Okay, here we are at the entrance. We got the nice little uh, wall around the area here so nobody gets hurt by the planes or whatever. So we'll walk in here and this is all quartz. And boy, look, uh, man, I tell you, he's done a lot of work. All right. You see a little window here you can look out. Oh, and this is a little laggy here for some reason. I gotta figure out why. All right, let's get through here. Sometimes this door, these doors are a little sticky. Come on, let me through. I hate these doors. Yay, I got through. Okay. 
We got our runway here. Oh, we got the stair car. Yeah, this is over here. Let's come over here. Here is the tonic, tonic airfield stair car. So you can go up and you can get into the, the airplanes. Uh, we don't have any planes here right now. But I believe Tonic is working on getting some uh, schedule up. We've got the different places here, areas for people to uh, put their small planes. Oh, we've got the luggage car here. Got the luggage car. And there's a lot of lag today. I don't know why. We got the airport. This is the main hangar. Main hangar with the path off into Tonic Studios. Oh, and there's got the control tower. Now, one of the things I'm going to work on. Oh, yeah, we got the helicopter up here. Two things I need to work on here. First off, I'm going to work with Tonic. I'm going to find some way of making these lights blink. You know, you got an airport, the lights have to blink. We'll find a way of making them turn on and off. So you can come up here, turn them on when the airplane's coming in, and then turn it off. So we'll do that. We'll figure that out. Oh, and this, this wall right here is going to be a graffiti wall or an, or an art wall because uh, Tonic has made this all flat for everybody and we've already got one of Tonic's, um, our good buddy Biz put this up here. Tonic is playing a game that has a character in it called Fez and this is Fez. So Biz built a Fez. It's a Biz Fez. We got a YOLO, we got a big T for Tonic. Oh, and Andrew and his buddy Adam built this over here. Look at this. This is cool. Goes from the main world to the overworld into the netherworld with a with its own little portal. This is pretty cool. The world is our oyster. Andy B on PC. Or Andy Bond PC, you know, that's what you like to say sometimes too. So it's Andy B on PC who built this with Adam. Nice job, guys. Great job. So I need you guys to help me. What do I put on the wall? Give me some ideas. What should I build here? Huh? Give me some ideas. All right. And then the other thing I'm going to work on at some point is I'm going to make these blink. I'm going to make this look cool for the airport. All right, we'll work on that. But I think, ladies and gentlemen, from the runway at Tonic Airfield, I think we're going to call it an episode. Thank you very much, everybody. We will talk to you later. Give me your ideas, everybody. Oh, there goes Grumpy Cat. Grumpy Cat was in here. I was going to say hi, but apparently she's taken off. All right, but we'll catch her later on, and we're going to come back later and figure out what to put on the wall here and make these lights blink for the runway. All right, talk to you guys soon. Bye.